Hey guys, back for another video today. So we're gonna talk a little bit about knife defense. Remember, never hurt somebody. Always protect yourself, always protect your loved ones. Out there, we're gonna do some basic knife techniques that you can actually implement in your system. Once again, hand always. Hand that's not holding a knife near the throat, right? If he has a knife, hopefully it's a horrible situation, but if he has a knife, I have a knife, I wanna keep one hand near my throat to protect it because it's extremely vital. You're dead if they catch you, right? So. Hand here, you can still catch the knife, even if they catch you with that knife, that's better than it catching your throat. And then you also, with your knife hand, you don't want to have it extended fully away from your body where he can catch you, right? He kept your hands an easy target. So uh, you want to keep it just your arm slightly bent so that you can move, right? Your knife always between you and your opponent, but you don't want it all the way out here because they can grab your hand. You don't have as much leverage, right? Your hand's already right here. From right here, right, I can take a step and then come back. Right? But that's obviously not my go-to move. But I'm saying your hand here, you have more leverage from here, from at least about right here to here, than from here to here, right? You're, you're too stiff, no balance, right? So, hand here, right? Now, next thing you wanna remember is not going for his, his body. What's closest to you is his hand, right? His hand. His hand's gonna be out here, probably out here, or he's gonna try to like do something, right? So. He's gonna probably use wider, you know, wider cuts because he's angry, right? So in that situation, I wanna make sure that I am poised, ready to attack. Now, once again, when he throws that first strike at you, all I have to do is just a quick cut, right? You can do a quick cut or a quick cut, but you wanna catch that hand. That's your target. Your target is the hand. It's not the face, the arms, the leg. Unless those parts are closer to you, then yeah, but it's probably not gonna be. His hand, his extension is probably going to be what's closest to you. So in that situation, right, where he's throwing a, a, a cut to my face, all I got to do, right, is step out of the way, right? And it's like a windshield wiper movement where you can, and I'll show you from the side, from the, to the front, right? It's to be able to cut, right? To be able to cut. Catch that hand with a moline, and that's just a quick cut. Now, you don't want your cuts being too far like this because it's going to take your hand longer to get back into position to attack. So... That picture, your torso and your head, that's about where your knife, the general area where your knife really needs to be. Once again, you don't need a lot of force with your knife. All you need is just enough to cut, right? It's not a stick, so you don't have to worry about blunt force. A knife is just gonna cut, okay? So once again, hand always by my throat, arm slightly bent, and then I can attack. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a quick move here. So it's almost like, you guys remember the check swing? In boxing, right? It's your way of getting out of the way of your opponent, right? And then there's different ways, you know, to throw that that swing. Now, when it comes to that check hook that people use in boxing, is where that someone's throwing a punch at you, right, straight towards your face. And all you do is just step out of the way, and you're gonna come over the top and catch them, right, over the top. So I'll show you guys really quick. What you're gonna do is something like that. It's not perfect, but okay. So. Same thing with your knife. What you want to do is you want to stay out of the line of fire, right? Line of attack. So if he's going to throw an attack at you, come straight for you, what you're going to do is maybe move out of the way, right? And catch that hand. That's your best chance of, of attack with someone with a knife. If you can disable that hand, they can't attack you anymore. Uh, killing someone is going to make you look bad, okay? You may say, hey, well, I get better to, for me to get him than me. Well, it's now it's on your record that you've been arrested for or if you were in a confrontation where you killed someone with a knife, it doesn't make you look good, okay? So, if someone is really just, I mean, he's just gone, and you catch him, right, and he, you know, passed away, then that's on him. But your intention is not to, like, just, hey, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna dice him up, I'm gonna do, all, no. What you want, to, your best chance of survival is to be able to disable him, right? Disable that knife out of his hand so that he can't attack you anymore. Because once a hand's disabled, then you have the knife, and he doesn't, and he said, you know, scoot on, right? But, you know, you may not have the opportunity to say, hey, we both live, right? But if at all possible, disabling that hand is your best bet, okay? It's your best bet. And then you move, you use some other moves in there. See how the moves...
keeping the blade between myself and my opponent, okay? So that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you learned something. Stay safe.